Take a look at this diagram of the inside of a nuclear submarine. I don't think I've ever seen nuclear reactor hyphenated. A lot going on here. This is one of the most powerful weapons in the world because of this. I would argue it's because of the nuclear bombs it has on it, but sure. It's a nuclear reactor that... This nuclear reactor has nothing to do with nuclear weapons, by the way. ...part atoms to create an immense amount of energy it's a that cool, quietly cool powers diagram. this sub without it ever having to come up to the surface for air. Not never, but way less often than a diesel sub. Or they could put nuclear power plants on submarines. They used diesel engines, which needed to come up to the surface to get air to run their engines. But nuclear submarines don't have to resurface ever. The you do eventually need to feed your crew. That's gonna be your limiting factor every few months or and shift rotations. The massive fleet of these things. Also would need to refuel it once every 15 to 20 years or so. Some of them loaded with nuclear warheads that are attached to these huge rockets the that weapon. launch directly from the sub. At any given moment, there are a handful of these subs roaming around anywhere on Earth for months at a time. The big thing about this is it gives you a second strike capability if the first strike wipes out most of your country. Nobody knows exactly where, and that's the whole point. I mean, it's highly classified, but not nobody. 